Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 with sound that is not working. I'll be going over the easiest fixes to try first in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'm going to talk to you about five specific things that you should try first and hopefully one of these things will fix the problem. It's likely going to be a setting problem, you know, due to one of the settings on the watch but it might be a software glitch or a hardware glitch in which case I'll address that as well the first thing that you want to try is to make sure that it's not muted okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try to make sure that it's not muted we're gonna swipe up we're gonna go to the settings menu so sorry just to slow it down we're gonna swipe up from the from the home screen there we're gonna open the settings menu and then we're gonna go to accessibility because there's an option here that many people don't know about. So we're gonna go to accessibility right over here, okay? From accessibility, we're gonna go to, I have it written down over here, I just wanna make sure, hearing enhancements, I, cause I, you know, I do so many videos that I kinda of lose track, so I have to keep notes of everything. Hearing enhancements. And then there's an option to mute all sounds. If your mute all sounds option is turned on, then guess what? That's probably a problem. So make sure your mute all sounds is turned off so it is allowing sound to go through, okay? The next thing that we're gonna do is make sure that it's not muted again on a different menu. So from your settings menu right over here, we are gonna go to sounds and vibrations, okay? Sounds and vibration. From sounds and vibration, we're gonna go down and make, it, and make sure it's not set to mute. So right now I have it set to vibrate, okay? But on vibrate, you can still have certain things make sounds. If it's set to mute, they're all gonna be muted, basically. So make sure that it's not set to mute. And if you really wanna make sure that it's working properly, set it to sound mode. Don't even try with vibrate because that might be part of your problem as well. So just, you know, make sure it's not set to mute. And if you really wanna make sure, then set it to sound mode. Okay, so that's the second thing. The third thing is to make sure that there's no water in the speakers. If you recently got water on your watch, whether you were swimming, washing the dishes, you got into a water fight, you jumped in a puddle, I don't know, whatever floats your boat, right? You know, if you got water in the speakers, then that could cause the sounds not to work. So you wanna make sure that you eject the water from the speakers, okay? Um, and yeah, make sure you get that water out because that could really cause the sound to either not work or be muffled and sort of distorted or to be very, very low to the point where you think it's not working, but it's just a very low volume, okay? So make sure there's no, uh, no water in the speakers. If there is water, get it out of there. The fourth thing is if you actually have a hardware glitch or a software glitch, you wanna restart the Galaxy Watch 4, okay? So there are two ways that you can do this. Um, the first way is you can swipe down and you can power it off with that power button right there and then turn it back on. The second way is to do a hard reset, um, which is you press and hold these two buttons down together for probably about eight to 10 seconds and until it says rebooting on the bottom of the screen and then you can release them, okay? Um, and that will hopefully correct any hardware or software glitches that you might be experiencing. And the fifth thing that you can do is make sure the volume is turned up for anything that you are, you're you're trying to get sound from. So to do that, we're gonna go into the, sorry, once again, slow it down, slow it down. We're gonna swipe up from the home screen. We're gonna go into the settings menu. Once again, into sounds and vibration. Okay, and then we're gonna scroll down to volume. Volume is right over here. And from volume, you see that we have each individual type of thing that we can get sounds for. Ringtone, media, notification, system. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and turn the volume up for anything that you're trying to get sound from. And if you really you know, wanna, just, just turn it up to, to make sure that it works, okay? Um, and if that doesn't work, if, those, if all of those things do not work, then you might have a hardware problem with your speakers themselves instead of it being a software problem or hardware glitch. You might have an actual problem with a speaker disconnect or a speaker not working. It's rare, very rare to be honest with you, but it happens. So you wanna look into that maybe as the next potential cause and do a little bit of troubleshooting from there. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.